this point in the painting, I have primed my wood canvas with gesso and I have applied my applique on here. The girl with the balloons is uh, just a vinyl cutout that I made on my Cricut machine and put on there. So you could really put any image that you wanted there and do the same techniques on this painting. So now I begin to add my colors and I want to do a rainbow theme so I'm starting with the lightest colors and I will end with the darkest colors on the outside. Also, you can see that uh, the applique, I used painter's tape and initially the light green colored tape is very thin so that I could go around the edges in detail. And then I went over that again in heavier painter's tape uh, just to make sure that the paint did not bleed through when it was drying. So all the paints that I'm using here are Artist Loft paints and anywhere from the basic paints to the professional paints, depending on the colors that I like. Um, I'm using some metallic colors and some flat colors. I mix them all with 40% uh, Floetrol, 40% paint, 10% water and in about half of the paints I used a three to five drops of silicone for the cells. I'll give you a little background on how I came up with the idea for this painting. Really it was that I had a dream about it. I The day before, I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos to try and get an idea uh, for a large painting. And at the end of the day, I really had no idea of what I wanted to do. I had a lot of different things I was thinking about, but nothing solid. And I went to bed and had a dream about it and I woke up and thought you know that's amazing I think I'll try that so this is my attempt at trying to recreate the painting that I saw in my dream and it is actually for a lot of people that I have lost along the way over the years um, that I cared deeply about and for me it's a symbolism of them being pulled up to heaven. So this black here that I'm using is Artist Loft pre-made flow acrylics and it came in a kit. I've never used it before, but I wanted to give it a try to see how it compared to the paints that I mix up myself. And for the most part, it was fine. Um, since then, I've used him a few more times and I actually prefer uh, mixing the paints myself a little better just because I can control the consistency. Sometimes I want a little bit heavier and sometimes a little thinner but they do work and 
would be great for a first time person that wanted to do some flow acrylic paintings. painting I want the colors to run together I don't want too much paint on my canvas because then your paints can have a tendency to crack if it's too thick and so I wanted enough to be able to cover the entire canvas but I didn't want a bunch of excess paint so I'm just trying to get the colors to flow together as best I can right now. to swipe and this is the really fun part I really enjoy this part I am using professional painters plastic they use it to put on the floor to cover things up when they're painting I use it to cover my painting table it works great um, for that uh, it makes the cleanup really fast and easy but I can also use it to swipe large paintings. So I just cut a portion um, a little bit wider than my canvas so that I get all sides. Now, when you pull the plastic, I like to go really slow because I find it makes smaller cells by doing that. And I really enjoy the small cells and I was actually going for that in this painting because I want it to look like rain so it worked out really well and I was happy with the result on my first swipe which usually never happens so I really got lucky there So here I have my propane torch and I want to apply it about six to eight inches away from the painting to pop any air bubbles. And with a swipe, when you have a lot of cells, it's hard to see the bubbles. So I'm really careful to go along and get all parts of the painting. I'm adding extra white to the top. This is where my clouds are. And I want this to be a little bit thicker so they look puffy. And it's not shown in the video, but I did come back probably three or four more times and added more white to the top. 
I also used a paintbrush to make it look like it's puffy clouds. And it's really hard to see in video and pictures, but in real life, you can definitely see the definition. So here I am removing the painter's tape from the applique, and I am starting my background, which I want it to look like an alternate universe or alternate reality, if you will, for that transition between life and death. So I did mountains and the sky, some trees and grass below. You can tell me what you think about that in the comments below. I'd really like to hear some feedback on that portion of the painting. That's all, so please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day.